Hey guys, uh, due to popular demand, I'm gonna make a video about Takayoshi Omura speaking. Uh, it's a subject I've gotten to research quite a lot, and I'm also gonna post this to, its, to his Twitter and see what he thinks. And he can either correct me where I'm wrong or, uh, or uh, confirm this. Uh, at the end of the video, I'm gonna talk about the guitar a bit, so in, if you only came for that part, uh, just skip to the end and you'll find it. And that's it, let's get to it. Okay, so first let's talk about his hand position. So uh, during solos, he positions his hand pretty comfortably, like with the wrist part laying on the bridge, on the top of the bridge, so that he can just like get anywhere he wants pretty easily. And he uses the, the whole video. We're gonna talk about the the index-based movement, index-finger-based movement. So he uses the OK sound sign. And the rest of the fingers, he just like positions comfortably in contact with the pick guard. So it's something like this around here. Next, uh, it's time to talk about his picking motion. So uh, Omura uses uh, alternate picking almost exclusively, like going up and down. <laughs> Except for when he's sweep picking, and then he's like sweep picking, of course. And uh, he combines combines two techniques: one for like smoother tremolo style picking, like really fast, and one for heavier accented notes. Uh, it can combine the two very quickly, and the result is really cool. Okay, so the first one derives from the index finger going pretty much up and down with the smooth part of the pick vertical to the string so it's like pretty much sliding this prevents the pick from like getting stuck and allows for very quick movement and this is what it looks like and the thumb is slightly bent and provides grasp for the pick the index finger makes very small gentle movements kind of like the same muscles you use when you're like writing with a pen and so the, the thumb has no part in it, it's just holding the pick. The other heavier technique involves attacking the string from the side, allowing for much greater pick contact with the string. This produce, produces a snapping sound, differing greatly from the previous tremolo style. Okay, now I think I should talk about uh, accents, how Amuri uses them and how crucial they are for the overall sound. And I can't stress this enough, they're like a huge part of what makes Amuri's playing so beautiful. So he uses them very musicalically, and he uses them to emphasize parts and they have lots of positive effects on the sound. So like this... <laughs> a lot worse than this because you have like the you have the frame you have the accent when you play really fast those accents can really save you from getting lost with all the notes they also help you keep tempo so if you practice it using the techniques I explained earlier using a snap for accents and tremble over anything else it's gonna look like this about uh, general feel. So in my opinion, Omura's playing has amazing feel and he delivers it using great dynamics and very deep, very wide vibratos, like so. He has like great muscle strength and he manages to deliver it very well. And so your, your feel and your playing style is completely up to you, but um, those are some things that are great to keep in mind. Okay, so let's talk about how uh, to practice these techniques. So obviously the best way to practice Omura's techniques are to play Omura's songs. So I can recommend songs like uh, uh, Never Surrender, Distant Thunder, Night of USA, Shadows of Eternity and Wanna Get a Good Love. Pretty much all of these songs are de technically difficult, so they're all good to learn. And I recommend that you slow them down using Audacity or any other uh, sound editing program and uh, if you manage to get it by ear it's excellent 
and of course play them with a the metronome so uh, you take lots of lots of practice that's all you take <laughs> Also, Omura has put up some great instructional videos himself. I'm gonna put links to them in the description. Okay, so that's about it about Omura speaking. Omura, if you're watching this yourself, please let me know if and where I got it wrong. And I'm a huge fan, by the way. Okay, this was long, but now we're done with the picking talk and technique talk. So now I can talk a bit about the guitar. Uh, so this is an ESP custom shop guitar. I got it uh, when I was in Japan a year ago with my girlfriend. Uh, we went to Tokyo and I read online that uh, Ochanomizu, which is a neighborhood in Tokyo, uh, was pretty much the best place in the world to buy guitars, to shop for guitars. Uh, so we stepped into, we, we took the train there and we stepped into the first uh, guitar shop we saw and asked if they had the, if they had the ESP custom shop guitars and they were like, yeah, the ESP custom shop is upstairs, yeah, come with us, we'll show you. So we went upstairs with them and then there was like this huge poster of Omura, which I have already been a fan of for quite some time. And the guy like asks me in a broken English, uh, "Oh, do you know him?" And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, of course I know him. You don't tell me. You know, don't need to tell me who that guy is." And so uh, I was looking for a seven string there for an ESP seven string, and I uh, found and I tried some guitars, and then the guy was like, "Hey, by the way, this is like the model model that uh, Amora based his guitar on." And he let me play with an Edwards pink guitar small one with only six strings uh, so I tried it out and it was pretty good and then they said that like the only difference between uh, that Edwards guitar and the Omura's actual guitars are uh, pretty much the scallops the Nike scallop really and I was like oh how does that feel I've never played a scallop guitar and uh, he was like uh, he had trouble explaining what it's like to me so I, I was like, hey, maybe you have uh, a, a, a scalp guitar in your shop. It was a huge shop, by the way. And he was like, uh, uh, no, I don't think we do. And kept thinking and like, wait, a second thought, we might have one of Omura's guitar that he left here for like setup and stuff. And he said he needs to ask the manager if he can let me try it. So we did uh, come to the manager and asked him. And the manager uh, said yes, so uh, I was sitting there, and then the guy brought me this uh, pink, and uh, not pink, dark, dark red, brass red, guitar, and looked very nice with the scalps and all, and it had Omura's sign, not the signature like here, like the actual sign of his, up here, and I started playing it. I plugged it into a large JVM stack. And I was just amazed by how, how good it played, how good it sounded. I've never played anything like it. And I was like, holy shit, this is like no other guitar I played in the past hour, like in the shop. And so uh, I asked, like, do you sell these? And he said, uh, we can do it like custom 
for you. And uh, so uh, he brought the guy who um, builds custom guitars for ESP there, for the custom ESP shop, uh, ESP custom shop, and he uh, he was like talking to to the to the seller, to the shop guy, and uh, asking him exactly what do I need in Japanese. So I, I was like, I barely changed it, uh, like I changed the pickups and and the way the volumes are uh, are set, but I pretty much left it as it was. <coughs> and uh, and I had it shipped to Israel uh, while they were all, while they were building it. They sent me pictures of like progress, so I got to see like bare wood pictures of the guitar in progress uh, and so about half a year later when it was uh, done, done uh, finished uh, when it was ready uh, they shipped it and then I got it from the post office and it was beautiful and amazing and everything, everything I wished for and uh, that's it uh, the shop's name is uh, Big Boss, Big Boss o Ocha no Mizu. and uh, a huge thanks to them, they're awesome, and thanks to ESP Japan as well, they're great, and the guitar is amazing, and I'm loving it, and uh, that's it for today, and I hope you guys uh, had fun, and uh, managed, I managed to, to teach you guys something, thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.